Hey, it's Softing Student here, and today I'm going to showcase a little program I created to have a relatively simple search mechanism. And it's been set up with JavaFX, so we have a search bar, and we have a list view showcasing some data and showcasing how the search works. So, first, let me just demonstrate the program. So, for example, here I just have created a list view with a lot of say, random strings, random words. And let's, for example, see I just search for a letter. So, let's see D, for example. I now get all the strings that contain a D. Let's say, for example, I had the dog, or let's say day. Well, this one contains the best, the best day. So if I search for day, I will get all the strings that contains day completely. But I can also, because I'm actually searching for the, each specific letter, matching. So instead of searching for day, I could just search for A, Y, for example. And I will still get these. Or if I said A, Y, S, I would only get days of our life. Because I need to find this specific part. I can also search for multiple words. So let's say I just remove everything and search for everything again. So let's say we want to search for the best day. And we just input best. Best day. Still get the best day because we just need this one to be, this search input to be matching our search. Thanks. So let me go through the code and explain how it works. So firstly, I just created a very simple array list. It just contains these random words. We then have our search bar, which is a text field where we can type some text. We then have the list view. We then have our button. Whenever we click a button, we clear the list view and then we get some items. So what's really going to be the output of the search? And adding them to the list view by calling a search list method, which we're going to go through shortly, which takes first the input of our search bar. So kind of what are we searching for? Our search words, and we then have our, in this case, it's just called words, which is our list of everything we're going to be searching on. So this is where all the magic happens. We have our search list method, and it takes in a string, our search words. And we have our list, in this case, just a list of strings, which is what we're going to be searching on. So where we're going to find the matches for our search words. First, we take our search words and trim them by filling them on each space. For example, when we had multiple words, we split the words and search by each of them separately. So which is a days of. We're going to be searching both for the match of days and the match of off. And if we, in this case, match both of them, it shows. So we just simply have created a new list that contains all our trimmed search words, where we just go arrays dot as list to make it an list. When we trim, which means split it, or in this case, it's trim the string, and then we split specifically on our space, then we end up having a list with all our search words. So before it were days off, we would have two elements in our list, the days and off. We then go through each element in our list of strings. So in this case, all the words, we are going to be looking if they match our search words. And for each of them, we just simply go list of strings that stream. And a stream is just very simply a way of getting to go through each element one by one within filter which means we need to have some kind of Boolean output, which defines if the word matches or doesn't. So we have our input, which is going to be our, one of our words. We're then going to return our search words array. So now we're going to go through the search word array and check if it matches on our input. So we get first the word test. We then have the word test. Let's see our input going to be equal to test. And we're then going to go through our search words array. So let's say our search word array, if we were searching for TE, for example, and just TE, so we just go through once, again, stream or match, checking if things match. And this one also requires a boolean, so we're going to like checking, checking. And then we have our words, which in this case is going to be our T because that's what we inputted as a search word. So let's just say we did word equals T. We're then going to make our input lowercase. 
in this case, it was lowercase already, but let's say we're searching for friends, but our search words were friends with a lowercase f. Then to make sure it still matches, we, makes everything, we make everything lowercase. So our input is lowercase. It already is, it does nothing. And then we'll check if this one contains this one. So if this is inside this. And in this case, this would return true. And therefore our input would be filtered. And because it would return true, we'd say it's still here. So it would be collected by just collect and then to list. So in the end, we just return this element to the list. Let's say, then we're going to be looking for the next word, which is going to be dog. And we're going to do the same process. Look if it matches. Does these two elements contain in each other? So, like before, te was inside test. Now te is not inside dog. So, no match. Returns false. And then we are not going to add our dog to our, in, this, in the end, our list of Brings was going to be the element that's going to be returned and showcased on our list. So I hope that made some kind of sense. This is a okay way of searching and it is relatively simple. So I just thought I might share my version of a relatively simple search function. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.